This video looks at how we can solve where a reciprocal graph intersects a quadratic graph using simultaneous equations. Now, where these two graphs intersect, the y-coordinates must be equal. So therefore, at the point of intersection, we can say that 1 over x minus 3 must equal x squared minus 4x plus 1. So the two equations must be equal to each other. So therefore, I need to solve where these two equations are equal, i.e. solve this equation. So if I put brackets around the bottom and the top, like so, and then times up by x minus 3, I get 1 is equal to x minus 3 bracket x squared minus 4x plus 1. So if I now expand this right hand side, I get 1 is equal to, so I times by x through and then times by minus 3, x cubed minus 4x squared plus x, and I times by x, take away 3x squared plus 12x minus 3, and I times by minus 3. If I then simplify, 1 equals x cubed minus 7x squared plus 13x minus 3, then set equal to 0, 0 equals x cubed minus 7x squared plus 13x minus 4. So that is the equation which I need to somehow solve. Now let us suppose that we were told that one of the solutions is at x is equal to plus 4 that is a root of this equation. And we want to find the other two solutions if they exist. Now if we know that x equals 4 is a root, then therefore we know that x minus 4 is a factor. So to find the other factors and hence the roots, I divide this expression by x minus 4. So I want to work out what x cubed minus 7x squared plus 13x minus 4 divided by my factor is. Now for this I use a grid method. So I put my factor of x and minus 4 down my left hand side and then work through as follows. OK, I want an x cubed. So therefore, x times what is x cubed? Well, x times x squared. And minus 4 times x squared is minus 4x squared. But I want a minus 7x squared, so I need another minus 3x squared up there. These two terms combine to give minus 7x squared. I've already got an x, so I need a minus 3x. Now, minus 3x times minus 4 is plus 12x. I need a 13x. I need one more x. And x times what is x? Well, x times 1. And to check this, 1 times minus 4 is indeed minus 4 as required. So therefore, if I divide through by x minus 4, I'm left with the top line, which is x squared minus 3x plus 1. So therefore, this whole thing here factorises to x minus 4 bracket x squared minus 3x plus 1. That's my known factor which gives my known root, to find the other two solutions, I must somehow try and solve x cubed minus 3x plus 1 equals 0. And to do that, I would probably use the quadratic equation. So x is equal to minus b, which becomes plus 3, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 9, minus 4 times a times c, which is 4, all over 2 times a. So x equals 3 plus or minus the root of 5 all over 2. So I've got one given solution to help us solve the equation followed by the other two roots down here. 